Chechen opposition figurehead Alexei Navalny has given his first interview since coming out of a coma. In it, he talks about surviving his Novichok ordeal and points the finger at Vladimir Putin. We go live now to Berlin and RT's Peter Oliver. Peter, what did Navalny have to say? Well, he used this interview in Der Spiegel to thank the German people, and in particular Angela Merkel. The German chancellor had paid a secretive visit to Alexei Navalny while he was in hospital. Now, Mr. Navalny, throughout this interview, seems to be under no illusions who's behind his alleged poisoning. He's pointing the finger of blame firmly at Moscow and directly at Vladimir Putin at some points. But while in Russia, a very different version of events is being talked about by senior figures in the state parliament. I claim that Putin is behind the crime, and I have no alternative versions of what happened. I don't say that to flatter myself, but on the basis of fact. The most important fact is Novichok. The order to use or manufacture it can only have come from two men, the head of the FSB or of the Foreign Intelligence Service, the SVR. Navalny is a shameless scoundrel. Putin saved his life. If what happened to him was orchestrated by the Western Secret Services, then his statement fits that logic. And only a dishonest person can make such a statement. Well, shortly before I've come to talk to you right now, uh, we've heard from Dmitry Preskov, the Kremlin spokesperson, uh, saying that while he wasn't going to say that Alexei Navalny was working for foreign intelligence services, that Moscow seems to have proof that foreign intelligence services, namely America's Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA, are working with him. That would be a real escalation in claims in this case. That's just come out in the last few minutes. Now, Germany says that it found traces of the nerve agent Novichok in samples it took from Alexei Navalny. The tests that were carried out in the city of Omsk, though, in Siberia, where Mr. Navalny first received treatment, well, they showed no trace of poisoning whatsoever. Alexei Navalny's team sent a bottle that was taken from the hotel room he'd been staying in um, that was then arrived here in Germany. That was tested. That seems to have shown positive for Novichok. Now, the toll transition period there raises a lot of questions, many of which have not been answered. The Russian foreign ministry, or the Russian side, in fact, it's the Russian chief prosecutor's office, has made numerous uh, requests, three so far, for the details of these tests to be shared with Russia. Uh, that so far has fallen on deaf ears, and it's really caused quite a lot of upset in the Russian foreign ministry. We turned to the OPCW, which unfortunately was playing for time, and then told us we need to go back to Berlin. Can you believe that? When we were first appealing to Berlin, it directed our communications to the OPCW. This is a vicious circle. It is illogical, absurd, and everyone understands it. Well, back to the interview that Alexei Navalny gave, and in it he says that he believes Russia made attempts to keep him in the country when he first was receiving treatment in the city of Omsk. He had been flying from Siberia, the city of Tomsk, over to Moscow. His plane had to make an emergency landing when he took ill midair. Now, the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has said that Mr. Navalny is alive today because of the actions of Russian pilots and Russian doctors who provided him with medical treatment when he first arrived in the city of Omsk. I think they were determined not to let me out of the country, which is why they publicly stated that I was not fit for transport. They waited for me to die. In my eyes, the chief medic at the Omsk hospital is worse than the intelligence officers who kill people. For them, killing is at least their job. So the impeccable work of our pilots, doctors and paramedics is presented as a lucky coincidence. They don't even admit that we acted in a proper way. Our Western partners look at us with arrogance because we dare to doubt their correctness and professionalism. That's why they doubt the professionalism of our doctors and investigators. Navalny says that he plans to return to Russia as soon as that's possible. Peter Oliver bringing us the latest from Berlin. Thank you.